Hi everyone. Welcome. We're just gonna give it two to three minutes to let our viewers tune in. In the meantime, why don't you guys let me know where you're tuning in from? Hi, Pina! Hi! Ooh, sunny California! I love the sun. I'm from New York. We have a little sun today, too. South Georgia, Italy, hi, is it buongiorno? London, hi. Bay Area. Merhaba, hi. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Boston, hi D. From Chicago, it's raining. Oh, sending sunny vibes your way. Maybe that rain will go away. <gasps> Saudi Arabia. Hi, thanks for tuning in. Brazil. Okay, I can say obrigado. <laughs> for tuning in. So how's everybody doing today? Are you doing good? Oh, thank you. Oh, you need rain. Okay, so we'll leave the rain. <laughs> Are you guys excited for today? We're going to give it like five more seconds for the new foundation. I know I've been keeping quiet for too long. I know, it's time, it's time. Hi Liz. All right, let's get started. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. My name is Alicia Jones and I am a NARS account manager based in NYC, Brooklyn to be specific. <laughs> Welcome to another YouTube live of hashtag life on NARS series. All right, should I talk about what's next? Are you guys ready for this episode of hashtag life on NARS? I'd love to introduce to you today the soft matte complete collection. The soft matte complete foundation is available in 34 different shades. Oh, yes, the packaging. So within the 34 different shades, there's an additional. There is a shade extension of the soft matte complete concealers. So some of you may be familiar with the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Say you were the shade Truffle and wondering, why can't I get that shade in the Soft Matte Complete Concealer? The time is now. Starting today at Sephora and NarsCosmetics.com, you can purchase the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Oh, I well Walnut. And the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Walnut. That's for you. <laughs> now... Who is ready for an unboxing moment? If you guys are ready, I want to see some fire signs. I want to feel the heat because I'm about to bring it. Where's the fire, guys? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Kelly's ready. So here, let's begin. The first shade I will unbox is Morea. Yes, there is the heat. So within this foundation, there are four shade categories. There is light, medium, medium deep, and deep. 
Today, I will be focusing on the medium deep and the deep. Let's start off with this packaging. What do you notice? What's different? Immediately, I recognize that it's a not, it's not our traditional glass bottle. It's a sleek, gorgeous, lightweight, soft touch packaging. It even looks matte when you look at it. Literally. All right, I'm gonna open it up. Oh my gosh, my heart is beating. You guys can't hear that, I hope. So right away, look at that. It has a little funnel top. Okay, I'm gonna close it up. These things get excited, they start rolling. <laughs> okay, so it had a nice funnel top which allows the foundation to literally come right out. Remember, with NARS foundation, a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna swatch a few shades for you. The first one is Morea. This one is a 2.3. Can you guys see that? It has a nice golden undertone. This is actually my winter color. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. <laughs> okay, the next shade I'm going to unbox for you is Caracas. So we're warming it up with the intensities. This is a 3.3, and the undertone is different, so be ready. So again, we have our beautiful funnel top. A little bit goes a long way. Remember that. Okay, so now here is Caracas. Oh, let me wipe this. I got a little bit. Caracas. Can you guys see that? So it's a little bit cooler. Next, one of my personal favorites. I feel like this color is kind of famous, Macau. There are a couple people that wear it. I'm not allowed to name drop. I think I'll get in trouble, but you can DM me later. I will spill all the details. So next is Macau. This shade matches various skin tones because it has that olive undertone. Can you guys see that? You see that? There we go. I'm really bringing it down. So we have three so far. Next, I would love to swatch Marquez. So we're still warming it up. This is a medium deep five. So deep, put a little bit right there. And then. So when you see this shade, I want you to think of a warm golden sunset. So four, one more to go. We are warming it all the way up. We are going to deep two. This is New Caledonia. Boop. And then let's bring this down. You guys see that? This one kind of matches my arm already. So this shade is a true neutral. So I'm going to go through. We have Morea, which has that nice golden undertone. We have Caracas, so that's a little bit cooler. And then in the middle, we have Macau. And then we have Marquez, that warm golden sunset. And then lastly, we have New Caledonia, which is literally blending into my arm. This is my arm shape. <laughs> and what I love about these foundations is they're oxidation resistant. Once they dry down, this is the color that they will be. So you can move around with confidence. So I know you're probably thinking, what shade am I? I may already have a natural radiant longwear foundation and I want to try the first true matte foundation. What color do I choose? So say you are the shade Morea. You can then choose Morea in soft matte complete foundation. 
B U R Macau in Cheer Glow, then you can choose Macau in Soft Matte Complete Foundation. So NARS kept you in mind and tried to keep our line seamlessly effortless so you can find your true color. So this is our first true matte foundation. Some of you may be wondering, I love the natural radiant longwear foundation. What kind of coverage does this have? This is a medium to full buildable foundation. This is a full coverage. No need to build it up. You are full. Also, this is a sweat resistant foundation. When you sweat, the little beads will be on top of your face and then you can just blot that. Never wipe, just blot. Say you wear sheer glow and you're thinking, oh, I'm on the drier side, but I would love a matte foundation. How can, can I wear this? The answer is yes, you can. But I would love for you to pair an amazing primer. NARS has several a radiance primer, make sure you're putting on your moisturizer, and you are good to go. Now, I know there may be some viewers out there who are unaware, say you're new to NARS, what shade is for me? How do I find my shade? Don't worry, I have something for you too. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my phone and go to NARSCosmetics.com. There is an amazing tool called Matchmaker. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds if you want to grab your phone and do it along with me. If not, that's fine. You can do it on your own time. Okay, so I'm typing in NarsCosmetics.com. Are you guys typing? Okay. All right. So I'm at NarsCosmetics.com. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down a little bit more. Oh my gosh, there's so many goodies. Okay, still going. Oh, there we go. Boom. So we're going to get started. So I'm going to hit this. It's going to ask, it's going to go through a few prompts. The first one, NARS Cosmetics would like to access your camera. Yes. Allow. And now it's asking, it, well, it's giving you tips and tricks. So position your face inside the circle. Hold still. Filter based on your liking. So it gives you a couple prompts. And if you look right here, you can see these red boxes at the top. You need these red boxes to be green to get an accurate match. So it's asking, check lighting, it's not good. Look straight, not good, because I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> and position face, come closer. So I'm gonna position my face, get ready. And I smile. I always smile. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, right now it's detecting. It's preparing my results. So I'm going to hit the skip button. Oh my gosh, look! Can you guys see that? I know it's kind of bright, but I'll tell you, it says it selected Macau for me, which is completely accurate. Remember Macau right here? And on this, we can toggle through. So suppose it's winter, we get a little lighter, we're not that active as before. So let's hit lighter. So then it recommends Morea. Remember, I told you that was my winter shade. You guys didn't believe me, did you? Hmm. And we can go, so you want to be a little deeper. So then it recommends Marquez. So we have all the options right here. Ooh, I almost missed one. It actually allows you if you want to go a little cooler. And it says Bellum. All right. Also, you can take a screenshot. I'm going to do it right now. And I'll do it wearing Bellum, a little bit cooler. So right here, there's a split screen. You can see half of my face, I'm wearing the foundation, and the other half I'm not. So you can truly see if that is the correct shade for you. So I challenge you to go on and find your match if you're unaware. For 
for those of you just tuning in, welcome to hashtag Life on NARS, the soft matte collection reveal. We have launched a new foundation, the soft matte complete foundation, and had a shade extension of the soft matte complete concealer, all of which are available today at Sephora and on NarsCosmetics.com. We went through a quick, brief tutorial of Matchmaker, and now this is the exciting part. Are you guys ready for an application? If you guys are ready, I want you to drop some hearts. I want to feel the love. Are you guys ready? Yes! Okay. So I'm just gonna, there we go. I'm going to bring Macau. Yes, there's the love. Hi guys. I'm gonna bring Macau and I'm actually gonna swatch it from my cheek right down to my jawline. And this was my recommended shade by Matchmaker, a shade that I actually love, so I recommend it too. <laughs> Oh, I have a question. How does Soft Matte Complete Foundation compare to, I think you said Sheer Glow. So, Soft Matte Complete Foundation actually has superior oil absorbing complex that's built into the foundation. So if you are a little bit oily, this is a go-to. If you do want a matte look, this is also a go-to. Sheer Glow itself, this I recommend for someone who, A, wants a light to medium coverage. Someone, A, is dry. If you're dry, that's amazing because this foundation actually has glycerin in it, so it promotes moisture, a little turmeric, evens out your skin tone. So this is an, that's what Sheer Glow does. So they're completely different. Soft Matte also has, oh, there's a soft. soft Matte has that oxidation resistant complex. It's 16 hour wear. This is going to be your full matte power player. It does have a hydrating element in it too, so it's a very natural matte finish. All right, I have to move quick with these. So I have my cow on. I'm going to move into Mark. And I'm just gonna bring that down as well. Oh, look how that's blending in. Can you guys see that? Hmm. I think the light in here is a little hot. Sorry, guys. And let me add in, I'm just gonna swatch New Caledonia, which you saw. Oh, somebody's Duville. Yes. So, New Caledonia, you saw how that was a perfect match on my arm. Let's see it on my face. Look at that. So with my skin tone, I'm two-toned. I have a lighter center and a darker outside. So I like to pick that lighter color and then warm up with some dimension. So I'm just going to wipe this off very quickly. And now I'm going to apply the shade Macau. So when applying this foundation, we need to move quick. So I'm literally going to apply it on very quickly. There is a method. So keep this in mind. I call it the pat press blend. It's kind of like a dance. I don't know why I like to jig with it. So I'm just going to pat it on my face, press, and then kind of blend it. Like I'm, it's melting into the skin. Ooh, can you guys see that? And a little bit, I used one pump. A little bit goes a long way. Okay. There we go. So do you, I do recommend fingers. 
because your fingers really spread the product and you don't overuse any additional product that you don't need. And then you can still use your brush. Go in and add dimension. So if you want to add a bronzer, add a nice finishing powder, then use your brushes. If you wear Santa Fe, yes, you would. So if you wear Santa Fe in Natural Radiant Longwear, then you would wear the same in the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Okay. Wow. Let's just blend it right here. So, I have the Soft Matte Complete Foundation on in Macau. Look at that finish. It's still natural looking. This is a matte, but a natural. Oh, thank you, Dee. A natural matte. So that's why your skin does look healthy and not dry. So I'm going to add in one of the shade extension colors of Soft Matte Complete. And you can see I've been wearing this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I have been wearing the foundation for two weeks. I hope I don't get in trouble. But guys, I am obsessed. It has 16 hour wear. My day starts at 6 a.m. and it ends sometimes eight sometimes ten so I have to be the energizing bunny so I'm putting on I'm just tapping it in yes Kimberly this concealer is life I call concealer coffee for the face so I'm adding in this truffle shade is truly a correcting shade so this is gonna get rid of my darkness and blur out any imperfect imperfections and then I'm gonna kick it up a notch I'm going to walnut I know someone said they were waiting for walnut earlier so I'm gonna go into walnut and I am going to concentrate this towards the inner corners this is a true golden shade so it just brightens Yes! <laughs> thought it was you. I'm gonna put it right there. So for those of you who have the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and you're wondering, what else can I do with it besides brighten my under eye? So say you have like a blemish like this right here or a little dark spot. You can go in with a shade that's close to your skin tone and really just blend that out. Did you see that? Blend it in there. So it helps blur any imperfection and it lays flat. And then I'm just going to tone that little, little thing on top of my head down a little bit. All right. Now something's missing. I have my concealer. I have my Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I need a setting powder. So for me, I choose Sunstone. Sunstone is a nice pressed powder. As far as I know. Yes, it has. The Soft Matte Complete Concealer has always been in a jar. And then the Radiant Creamy, that's the one that comes with a little doe foot applicator. So I choose Sunstone. It's a pressed powder. I know some people prefer a loose setting powder, but sometimes I get a little excited and make a mess. <laughs> so I'll stick with pressed and I'm going to invite, this is where we can bring our brushes in. This is the number one brush. It's called the finisher. It's fitting. I didn't make that up. That's not a joke. It's fitting. So let's, I'm just going to swirl the brush around. And then just lock in. And this helps because I have a little bit of perspiration, as you can see. I'm a little hot because it is summer. So this is this foundation launch is it's perfect timing because it's sweat resistant. So now when I sweat, it'll be on top of the foundation and I can just blot that. And just circular motions and we are gonna move into a mask challenge I know it's 
it's not going to be too long. It's going to be a shorter version, but I truly want you to see that this is transfer resistant. All right, we are ready. So I have my handy dandy mask and it's a simple mask. There's no tricks. I'm not a magician. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this on. And while I have this on, I would love to answer some questions that you guys may have floating in the audience. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, so in the meantime, while you guys are brainstorming on all of those amazing questions you have out there, let's recap. Why would you choose why is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation a good choice for you? So if you, what color is my concealer? So I use Truffle as the correcting shade and Walnut as the brightening. So if you're looking for a true matte foundation, this is for you. If you're looking for 16 hour wear, if you are oily or have a little bit of textured skin, this is for you. Also, this is sweat resistant, so if you're a little sweaty like me, this is your go-to. Because when you sweat, you'll have little beads on top, and you can just blot that, and your foundation will still be there. This foundation is oxidation resistant, so when it dries down, this is the true color that it will be. So you can walk with confidence. Also, I saw a question out there about foundations. So I can bring Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is also good if you do have oily skin. It's medium to full. So this is going to be your true matte full coverage foundation. Medium to full buildable foundation. And then Sheer Glow is going to be your light to medium. Did I answer that question out there? All right, if there are no more questions, I'm gonna take off my mask. Are you guys ready? Ah! Wow, so only a little bit on my little nose, probably because I'm sweating a little bit. But yeah, this foundation is true. So I would just like to thank everyone for tuning in to another episode of Hashtag Life on NARS series. My name is Alicia Jones, and you can follow me at Alicia Love. DM me any questions that you may have. Oh, I see one coming. Oh, there. Yeah, so if you do have that drier skin, make sure you add in a little extra hydration, an extra hydrating moisturizer and a primer. So if you have any other questions, you can redirect them towards me and stay tuned for the next episode of Hashtag Life on NARS with Narcissus. Have a good day. Bye, guys.